and here we go so welcome everyone to the wandering village stream this is on release today it is september 14th and uh we're gonna be jumping in to check this out if you're watching this live you'll actually have the ability to weigh in on what happens in the game and i believe you might even appear as a villager um I'm kind of tempted to try veteran and just see how quickly we get destroyed. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Uh, it might also be insanity, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's let's do this. I wasn't doing too great even on novice with certain things, but I think I I figured some stuff out. We got some folks in the stream who are more experienced with how to do this too, so uh, I'll be able to get live pointers, which should be helpful. We'll try we'll try veteran, and we'll just do release day stream, and we'll go ahead and hit start. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores. We kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. I love the cutscene, it is just, it's such a good vibe. <laughs> Yeah, Anbu Trust is really important, and I've realized it is very possible to frick that up if you're not careful. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pause for a second because I want to look at the island here. Also, hello everyone. It's gonna I'm gonna be focused on the game for a little bit, so I might not be able to say hi right away. But uh, welcome, welcome. So this is kind of what we've got here. Oh, we're starting in a desert. Lovely. I love that. Wonderful. Absolutely great. We're gonna die of no food. <laughs> Immediately. Love when this happens. <laughs> ah, it's California all over again. <laughs> okay, so... The one thing that I've learned is gonna be really important is we do not want to have to dig out these spikes unless we really need to. We also want to research stuff right away and we need to prioritize the dung collector. Can we also see what's happening on the map here? Okay, we want to get the scavenger hut right away because there is a an oasis here. There's some more nomads up ahead. Okay, so we probably want to build a few extra tents when we have the chance to. I'm also going to try to put them somewhere that we're not going to be doing anything right away because that was a problem that I had in the other game as I kept having to dig out spikes and I don't particularly want to have to do that so let's just stick some of our tents over here uh, in between the spikes how many people do we even have we have 16 so we need at least eight tents and this will do for now we also need to find a berry collector which I think we can put gonna okay we don't have enough stone Let's harvest. There's some stone down here that we can harvest. Let's do that to get some of this going. Uh, we need to make sure we've got enough of that. We want a berry collector somewhere that's going to have enough berries to eat. Tents constructed. I think, too, uh, did it name chat these guys after you guys? No, I think some of them are just... I think they're... Oh, hey, well, no, there's one named after me, so I guess it does work. <laughs> All right, so some of them are just going to be random. Some of them are going to be named after, I th think... Hey, Hawkpelt is here. Okay, I think it's people who are in chat when we start this, or who have posted recently in chat, or something like that. Moobots. <laughs> hey, Moobots here. And Genesis here. And Campbell is here. All right, so you guys might see yourselves in the villagers. You might get named. I'll try to make sure to remember to actually look for the... Um, the people in chat because okay we need to see this is not gonna be very efficient this might not be bad 49 54 40 percent if i go here 49 45 trying to figure out where the most efficient place to put it is gonna be i think that 50 percent because there's also up here 40 40. Yeah, I think it's the most efficient place is going to be over here. 54, I think, was pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll put it here. And apparently you can overlap them. Yes, the lad is back. <laughs> Moobot, it, Moobot being in game is extremely funny, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to clear out a lot of these trees. 
And I will catch up on chat in a second. I just need to make sure that I get these people doing things so that we're able to, uh, to keep moving. Um, let's also... How much? Okay, we have enough stone. Immediately, I'm going to put in a research building. This is almost as important as food. Uh, in fact, I'm going to actually prioritize this, and I'm going to prioritize this. <laughs> um... We do have a hundred food at least, so we'll be good for a little bit. We don't need air wells yet because we're not gonna be able to use them. So let's see. Yeah, you can you can get people named after you. I think it's dependent on chat. It might be dependent on watchers. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, I don't actually entirely know how it works. I just know you also get input into crossroad decisions. So I don't know if I have much control over that. <laughs> um. But yeah, it should be fun. I think I think it'll be a very fun time. I, I, I like what I've seen of the integration so far. Also, hello, thank you for joining us, Nervy. <laughs> yeah, the people look so tiny. Uh, I really, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Oh, <laughs> who is that? That's Hawk Pelt. Oh, hi. Um, but yeah, I'll, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I really love how they design the people in this because they do look like a part of the game, but they also stand out really, really well. Okay. Uh, not actually doing any of this right away. Or, okay, we do want, we want the kitchen, we want the scavenger hut. Um, I think we're gonna leave the desert fairly soon, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the cactus plantation yet. We do want the village doctor and decontaminator, we also want huts. We want the village doctor... We want the dung collector and the compost heap. <laughs> I'm not doing the bile extractor right away because that, uh, even though we ended up leaning on that at first, I think that was really bad for the trust. I think that was part of the problem we were having. We're going to want the feeding trebuchet at some point, but I think then we're going to want the decontaminator. So that's kind of the pathing that I'm going to set up for now. That might change, but for now... Also, hello! Uh, well, welcome, Viva. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's a really cool art style. I genuinely do like it a lot. Oh, who is idle? Okay. We need to cut down some more trees, I think. We're gonna clear out this little area. I'm trying to look for, like, what the best place to set up a lot of our stuff is gonna be. Because we'll want to get the mushrooms growing at some point, too. We'll probably do that down here, actually. Uh, and we do want to build, we'll want to build some roads. I'm just going to clear out a lot of this because I think we'll have our dirt stuff. Oops, I would like to not. Oh, that is a tree. Okay, that's fine. I think we'll have our dirt stuff down here and a lot of our grass stuff in this area because we're going to need to be able to access both the bottom or the sides here to get the um scavenger huts working we'll need to access the front to have the horn blower and the feeding trebuchet and we'll need to access the back to uh you'll get the dung collector <laughs> um let's see yeah the sound effects are really good the 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 ambient design for this game is honestly fantastic and like okay i'm gonna nerd out about animation a little bit uh, and the way that they utilize both 2D and 3D in this game. Anbu's model is 3D. Almost everything else is 2D staggered on, like, a 3D plane here, and it looks really good for the most part. Like, uh, it, it, it creates the illusion of depth without having to create an entire 3D environment. It is so well done and efficient and really, really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, there are a lot of spikes that might be... We're playing on Veteran, even though I... Did not do the best in my novice playthrough. <laughs> I figure, why not jump into the fire? We'll see. We'll see how it happens. See how it works. Oh my goodness. Cal, you have way more focus than me. I I cannot I could not do that many things at once. I can barely like I can listen to a stream or a video while I'm in the background. Actually, this is why I don't watch a lot of live stream content, because my focus lapses, so I tend to watch mods afterwards. Uh, but I'll put stuff on in the background while I'm, like, drawing or stuff. But even coding, it has to be music or I can't focus. <laughs> if I'm coding or writing or anything, I cannot listen to anything that is talking. It has to be singing or nothing. Oh my goodness, we're eating so much food! Oh, we've got some mother trees, though. Okay, adolescent mother trees. Do you guys know what causes the mother trees to form? Do they just emerge from normal trees at random? Uh, because they definitely do propagate, but I've never pinned down exactly what it is or not. 
I'm gonna yoink uh, the mushrooms when we see them as well because we do want to get mushrooms growing at some point. Oh, we got our research. Okay, good. We've got everybody at work in here. Do multiple research huts stack effects or do they not uh, double up? Do you guys know? Um, yeah, multitasking is hard. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, we'll see you soon, the Emeralds. Thanks for joining us. Goodness, Cal. <laughs> Could not be me, but I'm glad it works for you. And yeah, we have a giveaway running if you guys are not in on that. And we're going to do it a, for the first one about an hour in, probably. Probably do them about every hour or so. We'll see. Depends on how long we end up running the stream. I'm hoping we'll do at least two hours, maybe three. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how stamina is holding up. <laughs> uh, how that lasts through this. I don't know. I don't think Moobot supports multiple entries, and I don't know how they'd be determined, but we'll see. Maybe Rain, Rain set it up, so she probably knows better than me. <laughs> okay, so that's one per person. Oh my goodness, Moon. <laughs> if you have to finish your paper, you can go finish your paper, but I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're able to pop in for a pit at least. Oh goodness. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just to leave it at one entry per person. <laughs> Let me see. Not a whole lot is happening right now. Okay, we did get the berry collector. I'm gonna kind of just fast forward this because right now there's not a whole lot happening. We've just got people, as long as we don't have anyone idle, it's, we can kind of just let them do their thing. We wanna get the kitchen going so that, I guess, you know what? We're not gonna entirely not be able to do anything. I will put in another berry collector though, I think. Might put one here. Ooh, that's not efficient. Never mind. 31, 36, 22. Trying to find a place that's going to be good to put the berry collector. 31. There's another area up here that was decent. 63. Okay, I'm putting it there. Um, I have that area just got cleared out, so that's good. Let's. We'll try to have two of them. Let's assign. Okay, we've got some people who are idle. I'm going to prioritize this. We will put in a worker station at some point. This whole area, by the way, at some point, I'll probably clear out most of what's in it. I'll probably replace the research hut. Um, but for now, it's just kind of going to be an area where I stick things that I don't want to have to organize too much. <laughs> All right. Well, you need to re-enter the giveaway after the first one. Yes, you will. Um, yeah, you'll have to re-enter that one. Uh, they'll, they'll, they're entirely separate ones. Oh, the mother trees are growing up, and Anbu's on the move. Hello, buddy. Looks like we're about to head out. Now, we can't do too much until... What am I researching first? We are researching the kitchen. Okay. Um, he's gonna head off again, it looks like. There he go. I love to, like... I'm not always a huge fan of multi-leg designs. Like, I think they're really hard to make work. Uh, but they did a really, really good job with Anbu's. Uh, I think they made it make a lot of sense <laughs> for him being a hexapod. And I really... I, it's very well animated. Like, multi-leg animations are freaking hard. <laughs> Anything beyond a biped is hard to coordinate. And they did a really good job making six legs work. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, now, don't judge Moobot too harshly for limiting free giveaways to only one at a time, because uh, they gotta make money somehow. Uh, the developer of Moobot also has to earn a living. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. We've got... Is this a kitchen? This is a kitchen. Oh, we've got so many people idle. Okay, let's not have that. Um, I also want to see where to put the kitchen. I'm gonna put the kitchen here. We're gonna start building out like our actual kind of area here, I think. Y'all, okay, y'all need to be doing something. Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second here. I, we don't want people to be idle. All right, we're going into the mountains, which means that our food production will be fine soon. So we should start building air walls. We should start building water storage. We should also start building farms. I think that's what I'm gonna work towards here. So let's turn this back on. Gonna put a few roads in. If you guys could do... Oh, wait, never mind, actually. I will not do this yet. We can't actually build this. Uh, we'll let them build the roads, but we need to build the heck in. 
Where did it go? Carpenter and Stonecutter. Wanna cancel this, please? There we go. So, let's do... Let's do these. Put this one here. And this one... Oh, I can't put that one there, but we'll do this one here. Uh, we want to prioritize these. We want to prioritize this. And we want to put more road here. We do want some air wells as well. I'll put some of the air wells over here because we don't 100% need... Like... Th this is going to be my kind of messier area because we just need to place certain things down and we can destroy it later. Um, let's see. We're almost to the mountains, which is good because that means we'll actually be able to start collecting water. We've got to figure out where we want to put our farms. Do we have a good area for this? I think we could put a farm over here, maybe. Yeah, we could put a farm next to some of these spikes. Now, you guys have told me some that the farms work better with a smaller area because sometimes they have a harder time uh, getting to the farm. I think, if I'm understanding right, the farms, they can have a harder time getting or taking full advantage of the full area. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually place, we're in the, um, we are in the mountains biome now. I'm gonna place this here, this farm here, I think. That is a farm. And we'll do just like the three um, tiles around it. Let's kind of boost this up because we're down to 50 food. Into the mountains we go! Yeah, the poor overworked farmers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Okay, we do have a sleeping spot and a feeding spot coming up, so that's good. That was something I was a little worried about. We'll be fine, I think. We've also got some nomads here. We'll see if we get anybody else from uh, Twitch chat when we pick these guys up. Can I turn up my own voice a little bit? Um, Slightly dubious. Uh, I don't think I can edit it further while it's running because I'm having to boost it with filters and I don't think I can edit those. <laughs> um, I can turn this game audio slightly down if it's hard to hear me over that, but you might have to tweak your own audio a little bit. I can- I'll boost it further for future streams, though. Oh, yes, please. Uh, let's pick these guys up. And we'll see. We got two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do need to build some more tents. So, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, I will- let me just tweak the audio here a little bit. Gonna put up the, uh, standby here just for a second, just in case. I don't think this'll- I don't think this'll show any sensitive info, but- I'm gonna turn down the music. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Also save this. Um, and that should be fine. Okay. Is this... Is this a little bit better? Should I turn the uh, game music down a tiny bit? Alright, we are back. So, let's see. We don't have anybody idle at the moment, but I do need to place in another tent for y'all so nobody's homeless. Do we have any other important events coming up right now? I don't think so. But we are researching the scavenger hut. And we're working on this. This we're working on. We need to cut down some more trees here. We will soon enough be able to... Uh, gather some wood from outside as well. What's happening here? Storage full. Ah, we need... Okay. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. What we do need is a pantry. Why don't we put that like right here? We'll put a yeah, road here. Oh, I forgot how rough the early game is when it comes to not having enough people to do the things. <laughs> this berry bush we will clear out because it is going to be in the way. We also need to assign some workers at a worker post. So we will probably do that pretty soon here because we're going to start to have a little bit of trouble otherwise. In fact, I will set one to build. Um... Yeah, that's that's fair. The the audio for the streams is more difficult to 
more difficult to edit and post. Like, you really can't do anything with it compared to how I do my ordinary audio, so I do have, it is important to be pickier with it. <laughs> um, people are a very limited resource. It's very... It's either people or food <laughs> that ends up being a challenge. Um, I think once we get the chance to, we should research wheat because that lets you... Oh, you're kidding me already. Goodness. Yeah, this is this is veteran difficulty for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that can be a bit of a challenge here. I don't have everyone assigned to things, do I? I don't think so. I think there's still people wandering around doing stuff. Yeah, we still got people wandering around doing stuff. Let's go here. Yeah, challenges indeed. All right, we've got a farm. Let's put in some land plots here. And we will do about this much area. And eventually, oh, no, 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 no. Do not harvest the frickin' spikes. No, don't automatically do that. <laughs> um, fresh air, oh, okay. Anbu might sleep here. We'll see, he's not that tired, so he may ignore that. Uh, we don't have any compost, but we do have water. We've got the air well going at least. That should be fine for now, but I do want to build in more of them if we are able to. Because they be important. They do be very important. Is this another air well? This is. Okay, they are working on that. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with two for now, but we probably want to put water storage somewhere. Yeah, I'll just stick this here. I'm trying to not entirely block off paths. But we do need some storage. Anbu sits. Oh, he is going to take a little rest. That's fine. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Gal. Yeah, I can't imagine the... I don't know if you're on Wi-Fi or data, but I can't imagine it'd be that great at the... Um, <laughs> at a school. Goodness. Okay. Anbu's going to take a nap. Perfect. I actually like this because this gives us the chance to work on other things. Uh-oh, is it blurry? It shouldn't be blurry for you guys. The bitrate should be fine. Okay, it might just be, it might be on your end because everything looks okay on my end, unless Wandering Village itself is just more compressed because of the way it's working. Oh dear. Yeah, the noises. <laughs> oh, is he getting back up? I think he might be. Yeah, he's getting back up. All right, we're moving on. He did not sleep long. Um, oh, I hope you have fun on the last hawk belt. Thank you for joining us while you could. Oh yeah, I didn't see if we got, I didn't see who we, who we all have. I wish you could see like a, can you see like a villager list? You really can't, can you? All right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Littlefoot. He kind of does look like, like a, a brontosaurus a little bit. Is it brontosaurus? I think they're, they're supposed to be a patasaurus, but isn't it, didn't it get determined that a patasaurus is the same as brontosaurus? I don't know. I haven't. Guys, I used to be obsessed with Lamb Before Time, but my lore is a little bit rusty. <laughs> I haven't seen any of them in ages. Uh, okay. Alright, so it's probably on certain people's end that it's blurry, which if it is, I'm sorry. Uh, but I don't think it's a problem I can fix. Yeah, it could be your stream turn the visual quality down. Uh, if you have slower Wi-Fi, that can happen. Or it could just be Twitch did things, because sometimes Twitch does things. Oh, okay, I really want the frickin... Oh, goodness. I want the frickin' kitchen! We're gonna start starving! <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, we're gonna need... We've got... We don't have enough wood. We need to gather more wood. Although we have trees. Okay, they are gathering trees, so that's fine. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. <gasps> oh no. Cats like to be involved in pretty much everything. If if not involved, uh, they, they want to be. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I, I'm glad that you were able to get the quality up, but hopefully it's not buffering too much. <laughs> okay, we don't have the supply. Oh, everything is competing for supplies. The The early game is honestly kind of rough. <laughs> and I forgot that. Oh, we're coming up on a decision. I see nomads. I want more people. We've got a scavenger hut, but we don't have the supplies to make it yet. No. 
Do we have, is it, what is? This is a ruined village and we're very far away from it. I wanna go to the shrine, but I don't think we're gonna be able to go to the shrine. Um, goodness, all right, how many people do we have? We've got two. Oh boy. I'm big struggling, oh dear. We've got enough stone for now. We really need the frickin' kitchen, you guys. We really need the frickin' kitchen. I'm gonna have them start working on it, I think. We'll put it right here and leave, like, a little path bet be between. We'll boost this up. At least they're finishing some of it. We have two people reserved to general workers, so that's good. I think we'll try to do three or four just so that we've always got some. And hopefully they will build the kitchen so that we can, uh... We can get that. Oh, Anbu's gonna eat, I think. Please eat. Please, please stop and have food. Please, please stop and have food. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to. He might waltz on through. Oh, buddy. Buddy, I can't feed you yet. Maybe he, maybe he's gonna stop a little bit farther up ahead. Oh, boy. Yeah, this, this game can get a little bit stressful at sometimes. It's not always a peaceful one. <laughs> uh, also, welcome everybody. We've had a few new folks hop in, it looks like. So thank you for joining us. We are currently battling chaos when it comes to uh, trying to get everything done. We need to build some huts, too. Come on, Moobot, pull your weight. <laughs> oh my goodness, where is Moobot? Am I even... Re no, that's the road. Please let me select. Oh, that's me. That's me, apparently. Who else is here? Do we have anyone? Oh, Rain, you're here now too! <laughs> it's gathering. Oh, and Silver's here! Okay. I think those. Oh, look at, look at Savarity's here as well. A lot of you guys are here. Oh, a lot of you guys are here. There's Hawkpelt. We've seen Hawkpelt a few times. I'm trying to see where everybody is. Who about. Oh, Moobot's very collector. <laughs> okay, that's what happened to Moobot. Forest of Emeralds is here too. Yeah, a lot of you guys are here in in the um, in the game now. <laughs> yeah, it is very funny that uh, some of y'all are in the in the game. <laughs> That's an excellent little uh, Twitch integration, though. It's very very fun to click on a random villager. And, oh, it's someone from stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Uh, how are we doing? 28 food is going up. It's uptrending. It's uptrending. We've got more food. We're making more food than we're eating for once. All right. And we're about to go into a cold snap. No. <laughs> ah, the all-consuming madness takes hold. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, if we can get the kitchen done, which we're getting there... We've got enough rocks. We need, we've got enough wood. I'm gonna see if I can... Which one is further behind? Wood planks. Let's see if we can get two people on this. I guess we'll see if we can get two people on this one too. Uh, just to help boost it. And the cold snap's hitting. Wonderful. <laughs> Let the chaos in the English. Where exactly am I from? So, my accent i don't know if you could call it an accent it's an amalgamation of i don't even know what because i have lived almost my entire life in california and i don't sound californian <laughs> i i don't uh in fact i've been told that i sound more like i have a midwestern accent which is hilarious because now i do live in the midwest <laughs> Uh, but I also have, like, some sort of pseudo-British accent that I think I just picked up from watching too much British television as a teenager. So, I don't know. Sometimes I sound British, sometimes I sound Scottish, sometimes I sound Southern. I don't even know where it comes from. It's not any one definable thing, and it, it, it changes depending on the given day and season and hour, <laughs> and sometimes the phase of the moon. <laughs> So, I sound Midwest- oh my goodness. <laughs> it could be because I have a lot, uh, a lot of Midwestern family. <laughs> but yeah, I always get asked about my accent. I genuinely could not tell you at this point. <laughs> oh goodness. If something goes wrong, it's always Moobot. Oh, <laughs> poor Moobot. 
Mubot's trying its best. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, I absolutely do go into a British accent at some point, and like, I have never been to Britain. I don't know anyone from Britain. I, I, the only thing that I can gather because this happened, but well, sometimes I watch British YouTubers, but I didn't watch any of them regularly at the time that this started happening. So the only thing that I can chalk it up to is having watched some British television when I was a teenager. And apparently it permanently changed my manner of speaking. <laughs> Uh, the Scottish accents might be because of my How to Train a Dragon obsession. <laughs> now, that's a possible explanation for that one. <laughs> that I think it's just I absorbed speech patterns from various various media that I consumed when I was uh, younger. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got a crossroads decision here, but I don't think we can do anything about it. I'm kind of hoping Anbu goes to the north here, because we have a feeding spot, we have nomads, we have, well, okay, to be fair, we've already got contamination. Oh, and there's that, I want the settlement. Goodness, okay. Um, Did we finish researching? We did, we finished the scavenger hut, okay. Let's see here. I'm going to put a road here, and it would- oops. No, it would continue alongside here. So let's do that. Let's start this heading up this way. I'm not going to worry too much about making a super organized path. I just want to make sure we have room for all of our buildings. So let's put- Ideally, we get, like, two scavenger huts, like, right here. Yo! Thanks for the cheer, Minzy! Thank you! I hope I'm saying your- I hope you're saying- you're saying your name right. Oh. <laughs> well, it seems that Forest of Emeralds has been paid a compliment <laughs> and called- and called beautiful. Aw. Oh, mini! Mini! Okay. Okay, mini. That makes sense. I misread. Sorry. But thank you. <laughs> That is very, very kind of you. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. Uh, that animation, the cheer one I think is Frodo. I know the sub one is Peregrine. I think I have the cheer one set to Frodo's animation, and then Puma's on the title screen. Or the, um, the stream starting screen. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are our three wolves who have the animations. We have to do something with Hurricane now that we have another wolf here. Uh, we'll have to have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. I want to do, I want to start implementing unique animations for other things too. So I'm sure there are things that we'll be able to do. All right, crossroads time. Oh, there's a windstorm or a thunderstorm coming up. I'm not sure I'm vibing with that one. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys are cute. <laughs> Uh, but that's so fun. I'm glad you're enjoying. Alright, let's see here. Which way are you gonna go, Anbu? Please go north. I don't want to have to deal with a thunderstorm when I can't tell you to stop before we reach it. Oh, <laughs> we, We've got, uh, we got some cute moments happening in the stream here. Uh, I, it's, it's always fun to see stuff like that. Alright, you guys. Which way are you gonna go, Anbu? Please turn. Please turn, Anbu! No, I don't think he's gonna turn! No, Anbu! Anbu, why? Why? I suffer. We, we might have to hasten building the horn blower. Because, <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna have a bad time otherwise. Alright, we probably don't have enough rocks either, so we've gotta go send somebody way down here to collect all them rocks. Uh, and, oh, no, don't harvest, don't harvest that, don't harvest that. I am so paranoid about harvesting those now. I'm gonna snag the mushrooms when they pop up, but I don't know, are these done growing? No. So we don't want to worry about that just yet. No, Anbu! Buddy, I love you, but why? Hopefully he'll at least sleep, because he's a little bit tired. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. I don't know if I'm, like, the most model example of an English speaker to learn from, uh, considering the weird and inconsistent accent, but <laughs> hopefully it's still helpful in some ways. Anbu likes chaos, no kidding. Uh, apparently so. 
He 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 is. He's just vibing. But okay, we're out of. Oh, we're out of wood. All right. All right. Whoops. What did I? What did I? No. Stop. Cease. Don't do that. <laughs> Clicking the wrong thing. I want. I just want to go up here. I want to harvest some of these trees. Get some of these ones out of the way. All right. There we go. Ba 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 dum. There we are. <laughs> he does. He he. He, like the rest of us, enjoys his chaos. That's fair. You know what? That That is fair. Sometimes the natural inflections and inconsistencies can be more, more helpful for learning. <laughs> oh, hello! Thank you for joining us, Joltix! Glad you could make it for a bit. <laughs> Uh, we are currently battling the chaos, but I think it looks like okay. We are we are starting to get a little bit better. It's the berry muselli, I think. I'm gonna boost the berry collectors then, and hopefully, all right. This one's out of wood. Is okay. What, that we had determined that already. Um, we've got some of the roads set up. We're waiting on materials here, which is fine. Once we finish this, oh, we don't have enough people. Okay. Um, once we finish these, I will turn down these so that we can assign somebody to the scavenger huts. We also will probably be doing our first giveaway in a little bit. I mean, I guess, maybe not quite super soon, but, um, in not too terribly much longer, we'll give away our first key and start the second one, I think. 15 minutes, okay. A little bit longer. Okay. Anbu, if you want to take a nap here, that'd be lovely. Oh, perfect. I think he is. Yes, it looks like he is. You can see if we can try to build the horn blower, although I know we haven't even researched it. There's a poison forest that we can go to too. Oh, the settlement. I so want to go to the settlement. Okay, please. Please, we need to finish this. No, we need to finish this. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so always so many things that need doing. All right, and hopefully some people here. I'm gonna. Oh, we've got three. Okay, they can continue working now. How many more do we need for this one? We need two more wood planks. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the stone here, and we will assign one more person to general workers, so that hopefully we can get this done a little bit more quickly. Because I want to go to that settlement and get more people, because our food is now on the rise. So that would be good. If we can get that continuing to go. Alright. We'll speed this up a little bit because nobody's really idling or anything. So I think we're fine. There we go. We got, we got in the giveaway there. Uh, it looks like it is working. So that's awesome to see. Yeah, I'll speed up the clock a bit when we're not doing... Like, when, when we're kind of just running... We're, we're kind of just letting everybody do their thing here. Oh, you guys are the researchers. I was like, who looks like that? <laughs> who's... who's What? Wait a minute. What profession is that? But that's... Yeah, that would that would make sense. All right. How is the wood plank doing? We're getting there. We're getting there. We need one more wood. Oh, I hope we're gonna shoot the gap for this. We actually might shoot the gap for this. If Anbu keeps moving... We might actually make it through the, th the the thunderstorm here, possibly. Or, no, I think we're probably going to get hit by it. It's going to bounce back. It's traveling fast enough that I think it's going to bounce back. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. This is fine. This will be great. Oh, that's not normal. It could be a Twitch glitch. You might need to report that or refresh your page. Sometimes funky things happen there. We should also build huts when we get the materials for them, but we don't have that yet. Um, are we gonna need? Yeah, we're we're researching the um, we're researching the dung collector after the village doctor here. Uh, we are gonna have to figure that out in a second. <laughs> uh, we want to start getting moving on that because we need to have that established and ready by the time that uh, we hit whatever um whatever poison forest or poison storm which we do have a poison forest that we could go to but it's not like we're not we're not it, it's not on our path we don't have to pass through it uh it does look like a tornado it's probably it, it's probably a clearer 
it, the idea is that high. I think it's the high winds that would damage it. So it <laughs> it do be looking like a tornado though. Um, dung collector. Yeah. So the tech tree progression in this. Uh, we need to get poop so that we can make biogas, so that we can run our decontaminators without having to do more more trust damaging things to our poor lad here. Uh, because I made the wrong- well, I don't know if it was the objectively wrong choice, but it has made things harder in the other playthrough. <laughs> it's a good way to introduce new nutrients into the soil on his back. It does also help with compost, so we don't need it for the decontaminators. Uh, it will help with the compost. Alright, are we gonna get run out? Okay. Okay, great. Love that. Love this. This is wonderful. I have no way of telling Anbu to do anything at this point, so this is just like watching a, a, a train wreck. Um, yeah, wonderful. Love this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fine. We're gonna get run over by a freaking tornado here, because of course we will. Why wouldn't we? It's gonna destroy a vill village. Look at the storm. Several buildings have collapsed. Yippee! <laughs> it's the air wells, because of course it's the air wells and the tents. Why wouldn't it be? Ah, I love this. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's not a lot we could do about that. We don't have the horn blower. We couldn't have told him to stop. Yeah, it's it's a small one, so it didn't mess up any of the big buildings. But we are on veteran difficulty because chaos. So that's a thing. Uh, at least they're now building these scavenger huts. That's good. Yeah. All right, we are. Th this is fine. I'm gonna remove one person from that though because we don't need to produce quite as quickly. Okay, we got the scavenger hut. We need people. We got not enough workers. Okay, I need one more person, please. I'm begging you, one more person. We've got enough people here. Oh, we've got- everybody is working on the- Yeah, everybody's working on rebuilding, I think is what it is. I can turn down one of the berry collectors here. Oh, I should probably have this one on higher efficiency, and we'll turn this one to lower efficiency. And then we'll have one more person, hopefully, uh, come join us in the scavenger hut. I don't know why they're not. Yeah, no one died. I don't know if anybody can die in the, the storms, but yeah. Oh, we've got another cold snap coming up. That's wonderful. And ground toxicity is medium in this biome, so that's great. Oh, okay, I'm going to the settlement here because we need people. <laughs> I'm going to go before it disappears off the map. <laughs> All right. We will continue to try to build the second scavenger hut as well uh, because we want to make sure... Okay, is this still... The carpenter is the one that's really struggling for resources right now. All right, let's clear out some of this forest. Uh, you think people die if he shakes them off? Yeah, so we got to make sure we build trust as soon as we're able to. We will get the Anbu Doctor. Oh gosh, when do we get the Anbu Doctor? We haven't yet. I look at our... Where's our research progression? It's up here, okay. Do you guys know if having multiple researchers makes it go faster? Oh yeah, I don't think we actually have the Anbu Doctor, so I will make that our next priority after this, the Horn Blower, the Doctor, and Pet Anbu, because that's really important. We're working on the Village Doctor right now and the Decontaminator, because that'll let us get rid of uh, plants on the back more easily. Although I guess technically the Decontaminator I've managed without before. I am going to also clear out these berry bushes because they're kind of just chilling in the middle of the area where we want to build. So, I'll see you later, Joltix. Thanks you for joining us while we could. I hope your class goes well. And hey, safe travels back home, Cal. <laughs> yeah, cold snap, oh snap. That do be how it be. I'm a little less concerned now because we've got the um, food at least going up more. But yeah... Not always the best. Not always the best. This is just gonna block our path for a while until we know for sure we have the trust that to be able to remove it. We'll just have to deal with it. Uh, this we're still waiting on materials for. Yeah, we're just in desperate need of manpower at this point. We've got a lot of stone that we're gathering, at least. 
I'm just gonna kind of let everybody do their thing for a bit. And I think, if we look at the world map here, we are gonna have the cold snap, but that'll be fine. Do we have, how is our water storage? We might want another storage for the water, another water tank. We don't have the wood for it. Everything is not enough wood, apparently, in this game right now. This, this is the struggle with everything. Um, can I place a water tank here? I can. I think I will do that because we're not going to fit much else. So I'll put one up there. And that's still near enough the farm and the air wells that it should be fine. What is a smoking thing on the map? Smoking thing? Hold on. These? These are poison forests. Uh, they... None of them are in our path yet, but we could send somebody to go there. However, they would get poisoned, so I'm not going to do that. Also, our scout party is actively busy right now. Um, but eventually we'll encounter ones that are on the map... Uh, are on our path that we're going to have to deal with and they can spawn very bad things on Anbu's back. Poisonous things that if they spread, they can just take over and kill you. <laughs> so they're, they're not great. You can get herbs from them if you visit the, um, the event or the ones that you can send a scouting party to. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not so bueno. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no worries. It happens. What have we got here? Oh, we got the village doctor. Okay, sick. We do need to start building this. Resources are not fantastic at the moment, though. Goodness gracious. All right, the village doctor. We do want to put a, an herbalist somewhere, so I think maybe I'll put the village doctor. Okay, that one doesn't reach that far. Let's put... Okay, we need the, the herbalist as well. Plots must be placed on grass soil. We can maybe let this share some with the... Possibly, well, maybe we can let that share some with the farm. I think I'll put the doctor... I think I'll put the doctor up here. We'll put it over here so that we can still get behind it. And then, um... We'll start working on that. We also do want to get the herbalist set up somewhere... I kind of want to put it maybe a little ways away from the farm, though. We could put it... Because they might try to plant in the farm. I kind of want to separate it. We could do it like this, maybe? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Or I could... Hmm. Hmm. I do... Oops. If I do it here... Yeah, here I think would be fine to do it. What have we got? We got a... Dis oh, we encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. Please. Please. We got two healthy people and two hungry people. I will take it. I will take it. We can feed them. This is fine. We just need to give them homes. So, let's do... We gotta do more tents for now. I'm gonna- I gotta start moving these guys into huts. Oh, our population is leveled up, though. So... Alright, oh, we're about to do the giveaway, it looks like. Thank you for running that, Rain. Uh, it looks like we're gonna give away the first key, so if you haven't gotten in on that, make sure that you do that. Yeah, the struggle of bad memory is very real, I feel that. Uh, aww. Yeah, internet sometimes can be a bit of a pain. All right, we need to figure out where we're going to put the huts. I think I might start going down this way. Oh, you, you're saying that you're homeless is what this is. Oh, we could actually put some huts up here. I might put... I think I will put some huts here. We'll start... We've got so many things that need stone. What we need to do... I am going to actually put... I'm going to increase these. We've got this completely full. Yo, hi, Mr. Oshawa. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> you already entered the giveaway and you had to leave this room and come back, which you have to have re-entered. I don't think so. I think it persists for offline people. Okay. 
Um, you'll have to enter a new for the second one, though, when we do that, which will be in a little bit. It'll start once this one ends, and we'll run it probably until closer to the end of the stream. <laughs> we really just... Okay, oh, I need to send my scavenging hut, or my scavengers back out. Okay, please go to the shrine. We want to get that shrine before it entirely goes off the map. Also, it looks like we're headed into a desert no matter what. I kind of hope Anbu goes to the feeding spot down here, but we'll see what he ends up doing. Oh, there is a forest down this way, too. Once we have two scavenger huts, we can start sending out uh, teams to different things, though. Okay, let's prioritize this a little bit more. We need more wood planks. Are we actually producing wood planks? We are, but we need to gather more. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Aw, uh, no worries. Thank you for joining us while you could. We'll see who ends up getting the giveaway. Lots of excitement and anticipation. And we'll see. Also, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. Oh no, yeah. Uh, if you're just using data, Twitch might not have the best of time. Oh! We'll see. I think we're running things. Yo, congrats, Joltix! I don't know if you're in stream right now or not, but congratulations! Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you're still here, <laughs> but if not, Rain can still reach out. Uh, but that is awesome! Okay, so how are we doing here? Hey, we got some awoos going on in chat! <laughs> I should have... Well, we've got two more shrines here, so we can send somebody to that whenever that happens. I'm almost tempted to go to the forest, though, especially if there's a really close one. Uh, because we're close. We just need more wood planks. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna turn down the rate of stone production because, holy crud, we've got so much stone. We're, we're doing alright. We don't need that much. As long as nobody is idle... We also want to make sure- I might actually increase- no, we don't need to increase the kitchen staff, but I might increase the berry collector here. Uh, I think that would be good to do. A, Are you- you're out of materials again. There's orange trees, yes, oops. So these are mother trees. They produce more trees when they're fully grown. They haven't grown up completely yet, but they're special. You can also farm them eventually but we've not gotten to that point yet. They do propagate. I'm not entirely sure what the mechanism is for. Oh, goodness. Part of the problem we have is people are still down here collecting stone, which we do still need, but everybody is prioritizing that, apparently. Can I boost... No, I can't easily... Oh, I can! Okay. Let's uh, prioritize some of this instead, because I would rather they gather some wood. We've got plenty of stone. A awesome, so we'll start giveaway number two soon here. Uh, tomatoes or corn? So we don't have them yet. Uh, they're both good for warmer climates, which we are going into, goodness. Oh boy, yeah, we might need to research some of those. The problem is we've got such a huge tech tree, but we're mostly dependent on berries anyway. Oh, that's a looks like a windstorm, I think. I think we're dependent enough on berries that we don't need to super worry about it. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, they're finally building it. Oh, please prioritize the tents as well. You've left some of your fellows homeless. Excuse me? Oh, hey, Violet is here now. I keep having to remember to check on people. Oh, we've seen Savardi. Silver Howl. Rain is here. Campbell is here. Calamari is here. Cal is here. Hawk Pelt. Oh, Kmuk, you're here too! I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm, I'm very prone to very butchering pronunciation, so I apologize for that. I think Evelina's a default one. Yeah, we got some folks around who we, we recognize. Genesty's here. Oh, there's me. <laughs> and there's Rain again. Who are our researchers? Alf oh, these, I think this must be watchers who haven't been in chat because I don't actually recognize your name. Alf hate. Alf Alpha. Oh, I can't, I can't pronounce- I'm just gonna call you Alpha because I can't pronounce your name, I'm sorry. Uh, but Alpha's there. Yeah, we got some- we got some people we recognize here. 
Where are you working at? I'll see if I can find you again. I think you're just a gatherer right now, so you're probably at the worker post, I believe. See if I can find uh, severity. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys are worker posts. Oh, Cal doesn't. Cal isn't assigned. Um, Rain is at the worker post. Where's Silver? I just saw you. Campbell's at the worker post. I had just saw you. I know I just saw you. And I think I'm at the worker post too. Yes. Oh my goodness. Or were you a berry collector? Maybe. Oh, there. There's Minnie. <laughs> Minnie's a berry collector. And Forest of Emeralds is a berry collector. Oh, that's fitting for you too. Uh, you're both at the same working place. All right. Where did Silver go? I literally just saw Silver. There's Silver. Silver is at the worker post. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eh? Well, you're not doing nothing. You just don't have a permanent uh, assignment yet. <laughs> oh, that's you. Hey. Okay, I'm glad you're okay with being called Alpha because I was struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the berry bushes. I wonder, maybe the berry bushes are a, a niche reference. I don't know. Oh, we got a tent, finally. Thank you for not leaving your fellows homeless. Oh, and we've got a sleeping spot. Oh, we went north. Okay. Okay. Um, This is fine. Uh, Hopefully, Anbu will sleep a little bit before we head into the desert, because that would be ideal. But I think overall the food's doing okay. I might actually assign another person to berry gathering, though. And we're doing alright here. Okay, Anbu, please take a nice little nap. That would be good. There is another tornado coming up. I think Anbu may take a nap. He's pretty tired. So, that should be fine. Do we finally have the seconds enough materials to construct? Yes, I think we do. Okay. We'll assign some people to that as well, so that we can, um, so that we can send people out. Little nappy time, yes. Oh, good. Okay, this will buy us a little time before we go into the desert. I don't think we're gonna be able to necessarily finish getting the cactus and corn before we do that, but we have enough berries that I think we'll be okay. We can still kind of survive on that. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, the this is fine dog me, pretty much. Oh no. Yep. Sometimes Anbu wants to do what Anbu wants, and that can be a challenge. <laughs> He's a good lad, though. We love him. Yes, give me the second scavenger hut. And while he's sleeping, we can go and gather a bunch of things. And we've got people working on the herbalist. Oh good, okay. Let's clear out some of the area around here. I want to make sure that I don't clear out. Okay, so we should be careful with that berry bush. We don't want to destroy too many of them, but I will try to get rid of some of these trees because we do want to add some plots here. So I think this whole area we should. And I think this whole area we can, we can do with an herbalist. We also don't have enough workers for it though. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. Let's see. Yeah, I love that Anbu does have one broken horn. I was actually thinking about that at one point. It, it's so nice because a lot of creatures are fairly symmetrical, but not perfectly normally. But symmetry, if it's too symmetrical, then it can feel too inorganic. And so adding something like a, uh, ooh, our scavenging party came back. Adding something like that broken horn can be a really good way to give character. Okay, I'm gonna remove somebody off of general workers here so that we can send out a second scavenging party because this is gonna be really important. All right, we're gonna go to the forest because we need, we desperately need more wood right now. A mine might be good, but I don't think it's critical at the moment. Uh, I'd like to actually go to this shrine, I think, because knowledge is gonna be important. Asymmetry and design is very, very good. Yes, definitely. That's, that's I think, something that I really like about Domino from Niche as well. I'm so happy that she got her one little off-colored paw. Because uh, she has, I think it's all black paws and one, except for one that's white. But it's just such a cute little trait. <laughs> and I really like that uh, that ended up happening. Oh, see you later, Violet. Thank you for joining us. Oh my goodness, my voice is dying. Why is this happening? No, we're only an hour in. I don't want my voice to go out. <laughs> mm. I have to just get some stuff to drink here. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... 
it's something that can be doing it doing it uh, asymmetry is something that can also be difficult to do in a way that looks I don't know like when it, there's there's some asymmetry is good but there's also a bad way of doing asymmetry that doesn't work <laughs> so but yeah I feel that um, it, it, there's a lot of complexity that goes in design and I definitely think that uh, Stray Font Studio did a really good job with uh, the design for this game. Do you need more than one scavenger? No, but I really like having them because it lets you send out two parties at a time. So that's why I always do more than one scavenger uh, because it's a really good way of getting resources. But you, do you need it? Not technically, no. I'm gonna put one here. I possibly could even fit a third one up here. May not right there, but I could fit one over here. That might be something that I do. Yeah, and that is true. Like, very, so, a lot of things look symmetrical, but they're not quite symmetrical. And that does include faces. That in Most organic things are not going to be perfectly symmetrical, even if they tend towards being somewhat symmetrical. Um, What was I going to look at putting up here? I was going to put an air well right here, I think. You had 10 scavenger huts when you got the scout tower? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I really do want to get the scavenger hut, or the scout tower, sorry, uh, at some point, but it's not actually that easy to get now that I have looked into what it actually costs. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, art art can be more symmetrical, but you, the thing with making it too perfect is that you run the risk of making it look like too stiff and not it, it can look too it can it can look unrealistic by virtue of being too perfect i guess <laughs> um is one thing so it's it's there's a lot of interesting factors to design for sure oh my goodness the carpenter is once again complaining about not having enough um not having en en enough wood here that's why I wanted to get to that. Oh, oh, the air wells. I was like, why are the air wells all saying that they're not working? It's because we're in the frickin' desert. That would be why. That would be why. All right, let's boost. I can boost the priority for a lot of these things, and I think I will. Um. Yeah, you do need glass and an iron. It's it's pretty it's pretty late game. I will use the symmetry tool at times. Um, if I'm doing like a designy sort of thing, often I'll use it. Like if it's like an emblem or something, then that's when I tend to use a symmetry tool because a lot of the time if you look at certain types of emblems, they can be symmetrical, but I don't usually use it if I'm doing character design as much. But it depends on it depends on the design because sometimes I'll make it Oh boy, um, it is very hot now. Sometimes I'll use it and then alter it slightly. Oh good, we've got more villagers coming up. <laughs> more nomads. All right, and we're almost done. Okay, oh, we got a decision here. Hello? Or did we? No, okay. It, it just it just straight up gave us uh, mushrooms, not wood. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. It's not like I was looking for wood. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, you don't have to be ashamed for liking symmetry, though. Uh, I, I understand it, because uh, it can be a very pleasing thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it is very much a matter of taste. Alright, we got knowledge. I sent them out again. Anbu is gonna need food. Are we coming up on any sort of a food area? No. We might need to look into the feeding trebuchet, because I don't know that we're close to building that. You always get mad when you get mushrooms. They are helpful to have, but at the same time, uh, not always the... They're not always... Oh, we already finished. Okay. Um, they're not always the most helpful thing. All right, I'm going to go down here to the quarry. We're going to try to get some more stone. I'm going to focus on the early game materials because that's mostly what we have a mighty need for at the moment. Um, so let's see... We have a hut now, okay. So I wanna try to, well we are gonna pick up some nomads. Maybe I won't get rid of the tents just yet. And when we pick up some nomads, I think I can actually boost these. Oh, I can boost this one now. All right, we don't have a second worker for the carpenter. The poor carpenter just struggles constantly. 
Food is going down a little bit, but it's not too bad. Ideally, too, we also will want to get another worker there because we are making more berries than we're, um, or we do have more berries than we're able to make into food, but we are, we don't always have enough workers right now either. <laughs> uh, the village doctor needs planks, goodness, all right, I'm actually gonna crank this up further, and, uh, when we can assign people to it, we will. Let's boost priority on collecting these, because I think part of the problem is people are still coming down here. I'm gonna, well, no, I still do want, if there's extra people, I still would like if they would gather some of that stone. It would still be good to have, but we're more able to find it right now. Also, listen to them desert vibe musics. They're so good. <laughs> I like that each environment has its own unique soundtrack. Let's see. Eh, the feeding trebuchet makes you laugh because the name makes me think you're flinging food at his head and the dog sound effect plays in your mind. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That actually is what it is. Who's the carpenter? Okay, we can see who our, our one lone carpenter is. Possibly? I can't tell... Who is who is carpenter? No, you work... Hawkbelt works at the farm. Paxson is the stone cutter, but that's not anybody that we have, I think. Is this... Your berry gatherer... Um... Trying to see... This is the carpenter. I can't tell who it is. Is it you? Let me click. Nope, that's Paxton. Is it you? Oh, it's me! Oh, I'm the carpenter. No, I'm the worker post. Never mind. Um, oh, somebody popped out and then went into the carpenter. <laughs> so I can't actually see who it is. Oh! Oh, I can! Oh, it's Evelina. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that you could do that. Okay. But yeah, Dog Sled Saga is really fun. That's one that I want to bring back at some point, be it on Plus or on the main channel. Uh, it's one that I'd love to return to. But you do have to throw biscuits at them as well, and they catch it while they're running, except when they don't, and it just thunks off their heads. <laughs> and the poor dog looks very sad, and I always feel like a terrible person for it. <laughs> yeah, I think it is kind of meant to have, like, slightly Middle Eastern vibes to the music, because, uh... That is kind of the typical when people think of this kind of desert. That's kind of what they tend to think of, I think. Um, so that's how that has gotten associated with desert music. <laughs> but it is a cool vibe for sure. Egyptian and Saharan is probably pretty on point. Uh, I think you do hear this often associated with Egypt. Yeah, I really love Dog Sled Saga too. I'm like, I am a sucker for pixel games. I really am. They're just so good. <laughs> so it's one that I like to bring back too because it's a very, very fun one. It's 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 similar to Red Lantern, but it's less about survival. It's more about like racing. Um, and uh, we did have a pretty long running series. We had two or three seasons on it, but it's it's very very fun. Yeah, pixel art is great if it's done right. I think, honestly, like, I wish we saw more pixel games coming out in modern times. They're just, it's good. <laughs> Ooh, Splatoon 3 has a song that's a mix of traditional Japanese singing, Middle Eastern chords, and Brazilian percussion. That sounds like a really interesting mix. Oh, that sounds like a really interesting mix. Oh, we're almost done with this quarry. And we've almost gotten up to the nomads here, which is good. All right. Uh, when this is done, we got iron ore. I didn't know you can get that from the court. I'm getting everything that's good to have late game and not at all helpful to me right now, though, is the problem. <laughs> this is the freaking problem with what I'm doing right now. All right, nobody has finished this. We're almost done with the air well, which is not actually going to help us now. Um, but yeah, let's, let's fast forward this a bit so that we get a little faster because we're kind of just waiting for people to do things, I think. We are surviving off berries, though, so that's good. That was my concern. That we weren't going to be able to do that. Alright, I think we'll be alright here. Whoa! Oh boy, we barely missed that. I didn't even realize we were uh, crossing the path of a storm there. <laughs> alright, oh, we've got another party that has gotten back. We could get... I don't think we actually need to worry about the oasis at this point. Uh, but we do have now some nomads that we've just gotten up to. We need to worry about the feeding trebuchet soon, possibly, though. Unless there's... I don't know if there's going to be a feeding spot soon, but Anbu's hunger is starting to get concerning. Yeah, there there really was just a sandstorm chilling there. 
Let's pick up some nomads. Welcome to the village, y'all. We got two more healthy people, which is good. Uh, you like to see people who are not poisoned <laughs> because I don't have a doctor yet. Uh, we have the herbalist that we could start to open up probably. We don't have anybody who's not employed though. And we still want another worker at the kitchen apparently. All right, uh, that's fine. We don't have to worry about growing herbs just yet then. Man, the struggle for manpower at the beginning of this game really is real. Um, let's see. Talking about musical Sandstorm Rage is kinda, yeah, pretty much. Um, yes, because chaos. Ooh, yeah, some of the Pokemon music is really good as well. I haven't, like, personally played a lot of Pokemon. Uh, I definitely want to, but um, it does, from what I've heard, some of the music is very, very good. <laughs> uh, is that, that's a dune. I guess we'll go to the Oasis, there's no reason not to. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but there's not a lot of other things that are in range here. So, may as well, I suppose. And we could get we could get the iron. I guess we'll we'll pick up the iron mine really quickly here, um, because it is close enough. Once the these guys are done, because uh, that'll go by fast. Yeah, you can see that's only gonna take us a couple hours here. <laughs> um, but let's see. They're still forming the expedition party. Oh, I guess probably somebody went to go eat or something. All right, if we could get out of the desert. Oh, I don't want Anbu to get too hungry because we do not have the feeding trebuchet yet. Uh, we've got, okay, we've got a quarry up here. Do you, one day 13 hour, one day 14 hours. I suppose we'll do this one first then. Um, and when these guys are done, we'll send them to the other one. Getting kind of nervous because Anbu's getting hungry. So, yeah, hmm. I'm sure this'll be just fine. Our people are also getting hungry, so it'd be really freaking nice if we would go into an environment that can actually grow beets. Um, if black water comes up, drink it or take it back? Huh. Interesting. I will keep that in mind. We'll see if we get the event. Okay, we'll see if we get the event. I'm now curious. I don't know if we'll get an event or not. This looks like a poison stone. Oh, it's a spore cloud. Oh, boy. Okay, we just got 41 water. That's still good, though. Oh, boy, we've got our first poison storm, and we don't have any contaminator, so this is fine. All right, do we have... We've got the compost heap. Oh, this would be good to start getting. Uh, we are working on the decontaminator now, I think. Yes, and then after that, the horn blower. Oh, boy. Um... I think I will start, we'll start building this so that we can start getting rolling on it. And this should be fine. This is a little bit better off than the other option we have. I am going to prioritize building this. I think that would be wise to do. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping because there's no food coming up. Anbu, please go north. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We don't have a party. Oh, I guess one of our parties went off screen. Um, let's see. Yeah, this spore cloud going by is not something that I'm real keen on. What have we got? We got a shrine. A shrine would be good. We can get to the shrine. At least if we go south, that's something that'll be good. All right, Anbu, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh boy, this always makes me nervous. <laughs> all, all the pray for bears in the chat. <laughs> yep, yep, pray for north, pray for north. <laughs> I really don't want to go south right now, even though the shrine will be nice. I don't want to have to deal with the spore cloud. We might dodge it anyway, because it does move fairly slowly. Okay, we're going north, thank goodness. It would be nice to have the forest, but, like, I'm very glad that we don't have to deal with the spore cloud here. Although we might get something worse coming up ahead. Who knows? We can't actually see that far. Now, if only we could get a feeding spot, that would also be excellent. Because, oh boy, uh, we, hmm. Yeah, we're not, um, not doing the best with that. And it's going to be a little bit before we get the feeding trebuchet. How is the food doing? It'll be better once we're out of the desert, I think. Whew! 
Yeah, good job, Anbu. Thank you, buddy. Forest is also called the jungle. Yeah, it is. I've just been wrong. Actually, you're right. <laughs> um, I keep calling it the 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 forest, and it's it, it is a, it is a jungle. It's supposed to be a jungle, and I'm I don't know. When I see that color, I don't think forest, but that's fine. Oh, we got some stone. All right, I'm gonna. How are we doing on these? Oh, we have a lot of production on these. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. We'll let somebody get over to the food here. Oh, we got another scavenging party back. All right. Oh, village, village, village. Um. Oh, we do have a feeding spot. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. We're gonna be fine. We've got somebody at the shrine. I will send somebody to the dune. The reason that I haven't. Oh, there's nomads. Okay. I hope we get the horn blower soon because. We can catch these guys, possibly, but I am going to send to the village when we get closer, uh, because it's just a very far trek right now. Yeah, there is a new giveaway running now, so if you didn't win the first one, then definitely make sure to check that out. Also, welcome back, Hawkpelt. Thank you for joining us again. Yeah, aggressively chanting village, please, please, I'm so desperate, I need the village. <laughs> I hope Anbu sleeps here, he's hungry enough that I think he will. Uh, or hungry enough, tired enough. He's also very hungry, that's what I was looking at, but we do have a feeding spot, so I think we'll be fine. If he sleeps here, we've got a better chance of catching these nomads who are wandering by, so that would be really, really good. There's also another shrine coming up. All right, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be fine. Gonna take a nap there, buddy. We got the dung collector, that's good. You Gonna take a nap? We're good. He is not poisoned at all either. I d couldn't remember if he had slept in a poison area. Feeding spots are pretty scarce on this difficulty. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I'm glad that we found them. I'm glad that we found one coming up here because that's going to be real nice. Okay, 18 hours versus one day, three hours. Let's do the settlement here. Uh, we should be able to actually start farming again now, though. Oh, hello? Why are we... Why are you... Idle... What is going on with the farm here? We need more people on the farm. We don't have enough workers for the farm. Oh my goodness, all right. Um, where can we reduce? We can reduce some general workers. I'm gonna actually put them on the farm here because we have, now all of the beets are almost grown. So we're gonna need to be harvesting them. All right, there we go. We're good. Now, we probably should put in a second kitchen, which I actually think I will do here. Uh, hopefully, when we get more people, we'll be able to manpower that. Here's the kitchen. Let's put it here. And that should be good. Okay, we finally are starting to get a surplus. Um, I'd like to boost the huts, too, because we're going to get more people soon. And we do have extra housing, but I'd like to destroy some of the tents and get people into huts because they provide better poison protection here. How are we doing? The nomads have not gotten too close yet. We don't have a party available to go to the shrine. You think that means the farm is full of food or crops? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we put it next to the other kitchen. The reason we put it next to the other kitchen is because you can only... I think you can only have one product per kitchen, so what we'll do is we'll make this into the beet product. So we'll put we'll put that there, and we'll have people make stuff out of the beets. So that'll be good. We researched the decontaminator. Yes. Excellent. Fantastic. All right, we've got... We do need... Oh. Anbu's getting up, it looks like. Alright, uh, how close are we to getting the horn blower? We're very close. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty close. I'm hoping that means that we'll be fine. We'll see if we can get although he's not gonna have a high trust level here, is part of the problem. Oh, we might miss the We may miss the nomads. Oh boy. That's gonna be a bummer if we miss the nomads. Kitchenception. <laughs> Raising a pack of kitchens. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yep, yeah, pretty much. Alright, we've got a decision. Oh, we've encountered settle settlers. Yes, please. Oh, thank goodness we got five people. Okay. Alright, excellent. Yes, we have people, finally. Alright, we got knowledge. Let's, um... Let's go to the shrine here, I think. We've got a few shrines. Oh, we can send two parties. I really want to get the horn blower done. We'll see if that happens in time. It's not a hard research, I don't think, but it might be, um... All right, I'm gonna put a few people back in general workers as well. We've got, we do have somebody at the dung collector here. 
Uh, what we want to do as well is get, we will get the decontaminator in a second here. We can get the compost heap. Um, let's maybe put that over here, I think. We'll start building a little bit of a road. And I do want to prioritize this slightly. Um... We don't have anybody named after Evie right now, unfortunately. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, I don't think he's gonna stop. No! Oh, this is so sad. He's gonna walk by them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got our kitchen. All right, hold on. I have to adjust the settings for this. We want this to be making beet soup because we're gonna have a lot of beets coming up here. And that'll, the, the cooked food increases the efficiency. So, Oh, this is sad. We're not going to get the horn blower in time. No! Alright, I suppose I'll have to resign myself to missing the people because he's not going to rest now. He doesn't want to and he's hungry enough, but at least we have a feeding spot, which is what's really important. I would like to start expanding out this way. Um... I think that's going to be good. Oh, how many, how much housing do we have? 40. We can start destroying some of these houses. We do not need all of them right now. All right. Can we vote to name one? Have you? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think I, maybe I can I rename them. I think I can rename them actually. Maybe. We'll see. If I happen to notice one that doesn't have a particular name, we might name it after Evie. Is there a story as to why I gave the na Evie the name Lady Evelyn? Um, well, when she first showed up, uh, so uh, any I guess for anybody who doesn't know like the full story, um, Evie was a stray. Uh, she turned up in my yard one night and was very, very friendly. And we, she, 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 she hung around long enough for us to worry she might not have a home. And so my mom put out food and she immediately moved into our yard and didn't leave for multiple weeks. And so at that point we were like, okay, at first we thought maybe she had a home somewhere else. By that point we were pretty sure she didn't. So very, very well-mannered cat, very friendly, uh, very polite and sweet, but also very regal. <laughs> so when we took her in, you know, I brought her to the vet, checked her for a chip, didn't have a chip, got her vaccinated, take care of all that. So... Uh, you know, we needed to give her a name. I had just been calling her ma'am because I didn't want to get too attached in case, you know, she had a home or something where we ended up bringing her, her to a rescue or not keeping her or any of that. But, you know, we were like, okay, we need to give her an actual name now because I'm keeping her. <laughs> she apparently doesn't have a home. We couldn't find anyone. There were no, no posters. Nobody seemed to know beyond, oh, this cat turned up and was we've seen her wandering around. So, um, because of how dignified we was we she was i was like okay i think calling her lady would be funny <laughs> uh and then just narrowing down um names beyond that evelyn kind of just felt right it kind of stuck and when we researched i it was actually after the fact that i looked at the meaning of it it ended up meaning i think it means desired or something like that which was honestly really really fitting um, because she very much turned up at a time when I was really, really thankful to have a, a pet. <laughs> so. Oh, that's really sweet too. Evie being short for Everest. That's, that's a, that's a really cute nickname for, for Everest too. <laughs> uh, and Everest is an excellent name. <laughs> oh yeah, cats are... Cats are cats are good at um, at getting attention when they need it, but I'm so thankful that she turned up when she did. Uh, we very much needed each other, and uh, I'm glad she's here. She's probably I think she's I can't see where she is. She's probably in the closet box right now. She was out here not long before a stream, but it's uh, gardening day, and so she got upsetty and went back to the closet. <laughs> Uh, she'll be fine, though. I don't think she's still freaked out. She usually goes in there to hide, and then when it calms down, she just falls asleep. <laughs> so. Aww. Oh, that's cute, gal. Yeah, bob bobtail kitties can be pretty cute as well. <laughs> Alright. 
do we have? Anbu is so hungry, but we're actually up to the feeding spot right now. So that's good. That's right in the nick of time. Good he's stopping to eat. Thank you, Anbu. I'm so glad because we do not have a feeding trebuchet yet, nor do we have enough mushrooms to really manage it. All right, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Little bit of a close shave, but we're fine. Also, I want to boost destroying the... Um, the uh, the tents there because I want to start phasing them out in favor of adding more um, more of these huts. So I think I want to add another. Oh, we can add something bigger there. Actually, actually, we should add something bigger. He's chomping. Hey, <laughs> we got the chomp emote. Whoo! Yeah, if he hadn't stopped to eat, I, I never 100% trust in games like this that it will always happen, but, you know, he's he's pretty good. I th and I think the AI in Wandering Village is pretty solid, uh, to be honest. So, let's see, can we get- no, we don't have enough workers, alright. Turn that down, maybe we'll get somebody else on the kitchen here just to make sure we get enough food. We've got- oh, okay, there is ground toxicity in this biome, that's good to know. We've got a forest coming up as well when this group gets back from the shrine. Uh, we want to make sure that we're continuing to gather from the different places that we need to. Oh, <laughs> Copper and Marble are good pet names as well. Yeah, Knowledge. We're going to go to the forest. We built the compost heap. Okay, one step closer to getting this done. Now we need the decontaminator. All right. I want to get... Let's take somebody else off general workers. I do want somebody manning the compost heap. Um, and I think that's going to be good. We also want to put the decontaminator somewhere. Let's put that... Why don't we put that here? Now, apparently you guys have said that they span the whole map now. So, that's good. That's helpful. Uh, they did a lot of work with the AI for Wandering Village, that's for sure. Yep, definitely. Yeah, everybody has such <laughs> great pet names. Oh, tuxedo kitties are really, really cute. <laughs> Alright. This is kind of just a chill chill bit in the game for now. We haven't gotten the Hornblower, so I'm sorry. Okay, that's not chill anymore. Ah, uh, not chill anymore. I haven't gotten the Hornblower, so we can't get way in on this decision. That's a normal size poison for us, too. It's not even a small one. Oh, no, y'all. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, and we're... Oh, goodness. Anbu, please hurry. Anbu, please hurry. I didn't see that we had a poison spore cloud coming by. I think it's fine. Oh, there's there's nomads up here. Oh, Anbu. Anbu, please. Is this the Hornblower? Are we going to be able to, to research this? We might. We might be able to research the horn blower in time. We'll see. Water tank constructed. 95%. Okay, okay. Although I don't think Anbu's gonna trust us enough anyway. He's unsure. Anbu, please. Anbu, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Spore clouds are worse than the poison forest. Really? Really, are they? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're building this immediately. Um, yeah, big, uh... Ooh, boy. Yeah, nope. That's not great. Alright, let's, uh, let's boost the priority up all the way to maximum on these. We need that, uh, need that done. Need this done, like, now. But I don't think it's gonna be in time, probably. We've got a storm passing by up here, at least, too. Uh, oh boy. Alright. I don't think we're gonna get it constructed, though doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're not gonna get that done in time. Alright. Well! Anbu, please. Anbu, please. My boy, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We'll see which direction he ends up going. Oh, no worries, Alpha. Thank you for joining us while you could. Oh, that's funny, Kill. <laughs> All right, please go north, Anbu. Please go north. <laughs> oh, buddy, please go north. I know it's desert. I've never been so thankful to see a desert. 
Never been so thankful to see a desert. Oh, thank goodness he's going north. Okay, we're safe. Whoo, boy, y'all. We're fine. This is fine. The air well is... Oh, storage is full. Okay, we do need to put more well storage than somewhere. Okay. That was a little more intense than it needed to be, but we're good. This is fine. Okay. We'll see. I still am thankful that we have the horn blower because now hopefully we'll be able to, if we can get that constructed, we might be able to stop him in time to catch these nomads, possibly. So it's still good that we got that running, but now we don't have to frantically build the, um, okay, let's see if we can get somebody to interact here. All right, so we've got the, um, we've got the horn blower. We got somebody who's gonna head up there. Okay, right after we pass that crossroad, too. All right, we'll see if we can get him to stop coming up here. Because ideally, he will uh, lay down and rest. He may not listen to us, though, because we haven't done anything to raise trust with him. So we might have to also try this a few times. Do we have... We've got somebody on the way. Let's see. Nope. I'm going to try it a few times. We'll see if he ends up listening to us at any point here. But we might have to wait until we get the Anbu Doctor. Nope. He is getting tired, so possibly we can convince him. Oh, and ground toxicity would not be great, so we definitely will need the Anbu Doctor here. Um, are we... We're pretty close. We're pretty close. Oh, good, he's gonna lay down. Oh, thank you, Anbu. Thank you, Anbu. Ideally, we would have been a tiny bit closer, but you know what? I'm not going to fidget with it too much because nomads are really, really slow. All right. Also, yo, welcome, Arctic. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yep. Yeah, the, uh, the emoji maximum go burr. All right. How are we doing? You are... How are you poisoned? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Hang on. Hello? You are poisoned? How did you become poisoned? Is it because the ground toxicity is high? Okay, uh, we need to, we need doctor then. We also need the, um, we also probably need the herbalist here. We need to enable this. Who is it who's poisoned? Oh no, it's Moobot! No! Moobot's become poisoned! All right. Uh, we don't have a poison area we could go to either. Uh, let's send somebody to the forest at least. These guys are getting closer. Oh, we are... Oh, no, we're not. We're not quite in range for them yet. Are we? Oh, we are, I think. I think we actually are in range. But in any case, we can easily walk there. No! All right, we've got the doctor. We don't have any herbs, so I'm going to reduce this for now. Going to put everybody here. We need to shuffle somebody over. Uh, we can turn this down. We can turn down the number of people we have. Actually, let's turn down the number of people we have in the farms. Uh, we will put people on the herbalist here. Oh, are the herbs gonna grow? Okay, they will grow, but it's not gonna be fast. Let's put somebody on the... Well, no. I'll put somebody back on general workers here. Nope, never mind. I can't do that. Uh, we don't have enough people. We don't have enough resources for the stone cutter. We do have enough, um, p enough stone that I think will be fine. Let's... Do we have enough people? We got enough people. Okay. All right, we are gonna have to heal Anbu after this because he's gonna get a little poison from it. But uh, yeah, this could be a little bit dodgy. We'll see how quickly the herbs grow. Hopefully they will grow fast with many people. Do we have enough water? We do have some water, we just don't have it. Um, okay, yeah, we have, the storage is full. Oh, the storage for the individual water was full. What it is is we haven't had enough people carrying it, okay. We don't have enough people there. I turn that down. Full staff required for the scavenger hut. Wait. What's happening here? Badly poisoned. Okay. Alright, that would be why. Okay, so we can't actually send out that scavenging party, I don't think. We can send out that scavenger. Can we send out? No, it's the other party got back. They came back with knowledge. Okay. Um, we could use rocks. So let's do that. If these nomads... Oh, wait, 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 Anbu, wait! Anbu, lie down, please! Okay, he's gonna lie down for a little bit more. I just want to make sure that he doesn't move on before these nomads get here, because they're so close. 
Uh, hopefully he will actually sleep here. Sorry, I'm a little bit in panic mode at the moment because we are having occurrences happening here. Uh, the, this airwell I would like to finish. Goodness, all right. How close is this? It's gonna grow so slowly. Oh, this is gonna grow so slowly. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is not ideal. Are these guys even growing? They are... I suppose they are still... Oh, we're not in the desert yet. Yeah, we'll be fine then with that. I hope this continues to grow. I think it takes a little bit for the bad poisoning to actually, like, end up killing people. I'm gonna wait to send this party out because I don't want, uh... I don't want to risk poisoning. Okay, Anbu's sitting. These guys are pretty close. So as long as he stays sitting, we will get the nomads here soon. He didn't actually eat all that much either. Oh boy, okay. All right. We are producing compost too. Yeah, he should stay, I think. They're very close. I will try to keep, okay, he's staying laying down. All right, I'm sorry for keeping you in the poisoning. We will be able to fix this soon. We are gonna get the Anbu doctor in a second here. This is a little bit dodgy, not gonna lie. Uh, how fast is this growing? Not very, oh my goodness, all right. We got a scavenging party back. I'm gonna send out another one. Let's go here, I think. We'll do this one first. How are we doing with the nomads as well? They're very close, so we'll just have Anbu stay lying down. How close are we here? This is not gonna be the best, guys. I'm gonna speed it up slightly, because I think these guys will get here soon. At least this happened before we got to the desert. Does Anbu have eyes? Yeah, he has eyes. He's got, can you see him very well? He's got eyes uh, right above his mouth there. All right, is he gonna stay where he's at? Oh, his poison's going up. These guys are close though, we'll be fine, I think. Yeah, he has eyes, they're just a little small. Comparatively, compared to his large size. Please, nomads. Please, we need you. We need to heal Moobot. We need to heal Moobot. How close are we? 35, 41%, some of these are getting, getting closer. Oh, I've got a not great feeling about this one, you guys. I wish we would have been able to run that sooner, but we just didn't have the ability to. Alright, we got a scavenging party back. I'm gonna send out another party to this quarry. I hope it doesn't send- okay, it's not sending- oh, Anbu's getting up, okay. Are they gonna reach us in time? They should be fine, right? I think they'll reach us in time. I'm gonna ask you to lay down for a little bit more. Okay, if you could just stay here for a tiny bit longer. Oh my goodness, I want the I want the nomads to get here. They should be almost here. Yeah, let's. Anbu. Anbu. Okay, he's he is gonna stop again immediately. He just kind of had to move a bit. All right, how is our? This is like watching water boil. We do need to get feeding him, too. Okay, he's gonna sit down. He's so cute, yes. All right, please join us. Please join. How many people? Two people, two people. All right, we can get somebody in the doctor. We don't have herbs yet, but we're working on it. We can ha we can make do with one doctor for now. Um, We have two people in the kitchen. Oh, this is making, why are they both making berry musselli? Make beet soup, dang it. We got our decontaminator. I'm gonna turn it off for now. No, Moobot! No! Oh, I had a bad feeling. Rip. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the number of people here. I'm gonna get another scavenging part going. Rip. Alright, I'm gonna get more water. We're gonna ask if, uh, okay, Anbu wants to stay lying down. Oh, he's so grumpy about it. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you don't get it yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, rename one Moobot. We'll see if a new Moobot spawns. <laughs> uh, Moobot the second. 
Event given enough time, we probably will get more um, more of them. What in the oh, bad housing quality, bad food variety, bad food quality. Okay, okay. All right. Now at the least we are gonna get some herbs running though. Snurvy's the one manning the hornblower. It looks like. All right. Now, I think having two or three herbalists is probably not bad. Let's um let's harvest this berry bush. A couple of these berry bushes probably cuz this one that's all out of range. Omdu's going to move on. He didn't get that poisoned. Okay, what have we got? We got pet Onbu. I do want Oh, I want the cactus plantation, but I also want to make sure we get well, we're a, way, we're a ways off from the... Mm, I think we do need to do these next. And then we'll worry about the cactus plantation and corn and tomatoes. I think. The ground toxicity won't kill us now. That's Yeah, that's a good thing, at least. Alright. We want to make sure we have all the air wells run. Can you finish this air well? It's been sitting with needing one stone for the longest of times. What are the needs here? Who's badly poisoned? Excuse me, who are, who is badly poisoned? How do we still have a badly poisoned villager? I don't see who it is even. All right, we got the Anbu doctors ready. We have a village doctor. We'll have the herbs for the village doctor soon. I think the poisoning will be fine. However, we do need the Anbu doctor as well. Ooh, this is a beefy frickin' building. Okay, that's beefy. Holy cow. All right. All right, we could put... Where did we put the Anbu doctor? We can put the Anbu doctor down here. Yeah, we can put the Anbu doctor somewhere down here. Maybe. This would probably work. Yeah, this is fine. Let's do this. We're gonna boost this so that we can get our trust up with Anbu, because we're gonna need to be... Uh, possibly having to communicate with him more here. Okay, we've got... Oh boy. I'm gonna see... I don't think the desert is... He's entered the desert, so there's not... Okay, Anbu, can you lie down, please? Because we want the, um... We want the storm to pass by before we get to... Close. Okay, we don't have a party available. No! <laughs> Move on! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Anbu Doctor does not have herbs. Everybody's got freaking bad quality stuff. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm gonna run this road. Oops, I'm gonna run the road all the way down here, I think. And we can put some huts on the other side of it, probably. All right. Now the air wells are all just gonna be done. Um, and we don't, I think we've got, have we got herbs now? We have one herb, so they are starting to gather. Okay, they can still grow in the, okay, thankfully they can still grow in the desert. That's good. Anbu may sleep, but I'll probably ask him to try to walk through here first once the storm passes. I know you're very tired, but we're gonna need to um, to keep going. Let's let's fast forward a little bit and we'll let the storm pass. And then I'm going to ask if he can walk. Okay, let's go and try to get through here. Gonna be done at this quarry soon. We will probably be able to go... Okay, here we go. I hope... Okay, the scavenging party is back. Let's send somebody... I guess we'll pick up from this dune here. Where is this? I might... Okay, we've got a decision. After a long walk through the desert, the scavengers can't wait to drink some water. They find nothing but a dried out riverbed. Follow it up. up. Oh, goodness. I'm going to try to follow the river. I don't want to use all of our water. 
Okay, water and sand. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Anbu? Anbu? Anbu, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Are you... Wait, are you sitting in the windstorm area? You are. You just... Okay. He's too tired. <sighs> Great. Okay, this is fine. I'm glad the risk went okay. Our, our food is fine as well. Uh, this we can turn way down because we aren't going to need as many people right now. Um, how many of our villagers? Who is poisoned? Nobody's badly poisoned, I guess. Did somebody get healed? They must have. All right. Oh, boy. We're going to get windstormed in a second here because, of course, we are. Uh, he needs to sleep, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, scavenging party is ready. Oh, we need to send these guys somewhere. Alright, let's have you... Oh, somebody's already going to the dunes. Let's go to... We'll get to that shrine in a minute here. Let's have somebody go to the mines, I guess. This is all later resources that we need to worry about right now. We're gonna just get repeatedly bulldozed by this windstorm, probably. The other thing is we can't get water, really, but I guess we're still mostly dependent on berries. So it'll be all right, I think. We also need to probably build some material store. Okay. We have a sandstorm that's now hitting us. Several buildings have collapsed. Love this. I mean, it's all the air wells anyway. It's not like we were using them. And some tents. You know what? I might not even... Let's just deconstruct these because I don't think we actually need to worry so much about the tents. We have... We need another hut. If we hurry and build another hut, which we need... We don't have any stone, so we'll figure that out. There's a carpenter. Let's do the stone cutter. Oh, we do need more stone. Alright, let's have some people come down here. We'll prioritize. I prioritize some of these... Have people come get that. That'll be fine then. We do need to move everybody into huts anyway. So I'm not overly worried. In fact, I'm actually going to cancel this. But we'll put huts here. Um, and then we'll do a material storage here. And this one we do want to be higher priority. Oh boy. Yeah, no ground toxicity is at least good. Did the sandstorm at least? No, it's going to come back and it's going to keep bulldozing us. This is fine. Anbu, would you be willing to run a little bit? Probably not. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Anbu. Anbu, I'm sorry, but please. I know you're tired. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, the berry collector went down. Anbu, I'm actually begging you. <laughs> He's not gonna do it. Ah, uh, yep. Well, that's all great. Is he getting up? No, he's still just snoozing. It's gonna just keep going back and forth. It's gonna come back and hit us again. Ah, I love that. <laughs> Boy, I love this. I think I'm actually going to clip the VOD here as well. Uh, we'll start a new session here because this is going to be a long heckin' video. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll be back next time on YouTube. We will return to get bulldozed repeatedly by a sandstorm, apparently, and uh, finish out the rest of the run, or at least as far as we're going to get here today. Maybe we'll play more. This is quite fun, and it seems like everybody's been enjoying it, so it would be fun to return to at some point. But if for now, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, which if it's stopping here, you guys are, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the JPlays2 channel. And uh, don't forget to drop by on Twitch and drop a follow at jzx535 on twitch.tv too so that you can see when we're next going live. Maybe get in for the next session of this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So before the sandstorm hits, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.